Uh, the audience scores, as I said, you know, they're okay. No disasters, but nothing to get excited about either. You're not gonna look at any of those audience scores and be like, oh, people are excited about this movie. I mean, you know, it's fine. But it's taken too long, which is why he even had to make this movie. No, no one, big studios are not picking him. I think intellectualism is hurting him. I think it's hurt, you know, his, his movies don't open big enough. I think the insistence on intellectual aspects to Monkey Man hurt that film and why it's not being as well received as, you know, the trailer was, you know, which was a little misleading. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! My grandfather used to tell me the stories of Hanuman that really captivated me. Being scolded for reaching too high and aspiring too big. When I was a kid, I used to run away from my culture in school. It wasn't cool to be Indian, but to break the mold, you have to enter it. I thought, no, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna double down, I'm gonna triple down on the culture. It's vibrant. <laughs> and it can be cool. <sighs> it is unfortunate because nobody with an actual sensible channel size is going to talk about this movie. Of course, we'll always have our usual pioneers of the platform to put out their regular scheduled programming. Actually, it sounded like I was hating there for a moment. But in reality, all I'm saying is that a lot of people at this point mostly compare and contrast their opinions on whatever media they just watched or whatever game they just played with their favorite content creator, not their most favorite Hollywood lackey on Rotten Tomatoes. The Moist Meter is a pretty solid example. I assume the majority of us know what that is. And while yes, it also took myself a little time to get out this cheeky review, cut me some slack, mates. I wasn't passing up on talking about the peak entertainment that was Invincible Season 2. The public demanded it. And while there are going to be a lot of yappers out there claiming, oh, this trailer is mismarketing and whatnot because every action movie now has to be like John Wick mentality, that is going to be the downfall of this genre because of the false and self-inflicted expectations. That is what I call a movie trailer, mates. We've been noticing it since Infinity War, and for some of us, way before then, so it's time to get a grip. Because Monkey Man was just as epic, gritty, grounded, detailed, and action-packed as advertised, and more. Delivering on some of the most incredible action sequences I'm sure we'll see in the entirety of this year, as well as driving in a culture and a people that isn't really highlighted at all when it comes to mainstream Hollywood. Hmm, but they're progressive. But because I'm addicted to the craft and integrity of this channel and delivering the most nuanced takes that I can give on this platform when it comes to our entertainment, pretty much making me a real life hero, I'm definitely not here to say that Dave Patel's directorial debut Monkey Man was perfection on a screen. That's pretty hard to expect from anybody's directorial debut if we're being honest. Even setting aside the absolute chaos and physical torture that Patel put himself through just for the audience's entertainment. I mean, what a guy. The pacing issues were relatively noticeable. We could have filled up the cutting room floor just a little bit more. Character relationships and the character writing could use some work, and the shaky cam. Oh God, the shaky cam made a comeback that was more fierce than 28 to three. Please, please leave a comment if you know what that means. And also please leave that camera work in the shadow realm where it belongs. But before I stick my foot in my own mouth and become a yapper myself, let's talk. Okay, so in order to avoid the issue and absolute clusterfuck in the comments that I had earlier this year with my Argyle review that I titled, The Death of the Original Movie. Kind of a poopy title. But in hindsight, I should definitely start off by saying, no, plot-wise, story-wise, narrative-wise, there is nothing new that you're really going to get in Monkey Man, but that's not inherently a bad thing. And in this case, it would honestly be pretty unnecessary. Because as you can see from the marketing, what makes Monkey Man within itself so unique, captivating, and stand out compared to say its counterparts in the same genre like Shishu or Nobody in most recent years, especially from an audience's point of view, is the potential dive into the Indian and Hindu culture, life, and landscape. Again, an aspect of humanity that is not really covered too much on the Hollywood scale. 
So when it comes to the actual plot of the movie, you're more or less looking at a pretty plain Jane revenge narrative with some political undertones that we've seen a million times and will see a million times more. Dave Patel's character is a down on his luck type Joe Schmo. Well, I shouldn't say that. Dave Patel's Bobby is a man on a mission after witnessing the death of his mother in his small village as just a wee lad. And with clear and concise memories of the man who did the deed, and the man who gave the order embedded into his head and plaguing the man into adulthood, revenge is really the only natural solution to come to, am I right? So you watch as Bobby makes his way through India's criminal underworld, gaining strength not only physically to exact his revenge, but as well as fighting through his mental journey of coming to terms with his past trauma. Psych, you think he gets over his mom dying in front of him? Come on, John couldn't even get over a dog and the homie from Shishu was just the ultimate blue collar worker. Get a grip, mate. But who would have wanted him to give up his revenge plot anyway? Because when it comes to the action and action set pieces in this movie, I've mentioned it many times and at this point, it's probably the title of the entirety of this video, but Monkey Man was undoubtedly one of the most intense action movies I've seen in the past half decade. And not to be cliche, but the type of movie that I can only describe as a white knuckle grit type of intense. And I have nothing short of high praise when it comes to Dave Patel's camera work and direction when it comes to these aspects, because as an audience member, you genuinely feel like these guys are really kicking each other's asses. The punches really land. The body slams and the leg kicks really connect. And for those of you who have seen the movie, I'm pretty sure like 90% of the people in my theater let out an actual gasp when one of the henchmen's face landed on the toilet. If you know, you know. And while yes, the shaky cam, okay, the extreme overuse of shaky cam was at times more nauseating than a carnival roller coaster. But in the same breath, it was still an incredible feat to achieve some of these scenes on a first time go around. What I can say in order to shed some light on some of the gripes that I had, as mentioned, the pacing could use some work. The unique Indian and Hindi aspects is dived into and fleshed out which was obviously the selling point for Jordan Peele when he made the executive decision that this was a movie that was a must-watch theater experience, which I also agree with. But there's a way to mediate the action, the characters, the lore, the stakes, and the world building in a digestible way that doesn't have people checking the time on their phone. And again, I must reiterate, those are all aspects of cinema making that grow with time, care, preparation, and experience all elements that I think Dev Patel will continue to nurture and perfect by the time his second film rolls around. So in a ranking system, or I guess you can say a grading system that is relatively new that eventually won't be new anymore, but this is an element that is going to be added to the end of every one of my videos, or I guess I should say every one of the reviews on my channel. We started this in 2024 and honestly I would say it's been going pretty solid so far. I would go say watch some of those reviews, even though you're just going to see where I'm ranked them here, but I mean, you can still go do your boy a solid. Still, I think, no. I know that I can comfortably say that Monkey Man is an actual movie. Go watch this thing. Of course, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching the video, and if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I should say follow me on Twitter. I started a whole new account for this channel, so I'm going to start promoting that more. Again, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you did enjoy, why not click on more while you're at it? Otherwise, that's all the words I got for you today. Bye.